Hello and welcome to the lessons. Today we will deal with lesson number two. The name of the lesson is We are not afraid to die if we can all be together. The lesson is written by Gordon Cook and Ellen East. Now coming to the chapter sketch of the lesson, the entire story talks about the narrator and his family who are on a voyage in a sailboat. And it also describes about their thrilling experience and, and their close encounter with death. So the entire story is uh, revolves around the voyage the world done by Captain James Cook 200 years ago. So the narrator who is 37 years old, a businessman, wants to copy the same voyage as the Captain James Cook did 200 years ago. So now coming to the uh, characters of the lesson, the first central character is the narrator himself. He is, 30, he is 37 years old, a businessman, and he has spent a lot of time practicing marine skills along with his wife. So the next character is the wife of the narrator. Her name is Mary and she is a very supportive wife and she supports her husband dreams and was with him throughout their voyage. The next character is the son of the narrator. His name is Jonathan and he is six years old son who shows immense strength and optimism even in the difficult times. The next character is the daughter of the narrator. Her name is Suzanne. She also displays immense uh, courage throughout their voyage. The, now the next characters are the two crew members who join the family at Cape Town and in which one is an American and another is a Swiss guy. Uh, Larry Vigil, an American who joins the narrator and marry at Cape Town. And the next one who is a Swiss, his name is Herb Segler. They both join the narrator and his family to cross one of the roughest sea. So now, coming to the summary of the lesson, the narrator and his, wife, uh, and his family started their voyage in July 1976 and the voyage they started from was Plymouth, England. So they wished to go in three years planned voyage and they wished to go around the world on a long sea journey just as James Captain Cook did 200 years earlier. So the narrator and his family has spent 16 years uh, practicing uh, marine skills and the name of the boat of their boat was wave walker it was a professionally built boat and it was tested in the most difficult roughest weathers so the initial years of their voyage were quite pleasant but after that things get it starting uh, they started getting worst so uh, things were initially was as per their plans so uh, both the crew members Larry Weigel and Swiss Herb Segler joined them at Cape Town, Cape Town to help them tackle one of the most roughest seas that was Southern Indian Ocean. So what happens the weather began to deteriorate and the crew members experienced huge waves and strong winds. Now, at, uh, and also they celebrated the new year on their voyage, on the boat itself. So on dawn, at dawn, on January 2nd, the waves were extremely big. They were so gigantic and the crew members tried down to slow the boat and prepare the boat for the impending disaster. So both the crew members, as they were helping the narrator and his family, were preparing the boat uh, to tackle one of the roughest disaster which was about to arrive. So later in the evening, tremendous wave was wrecked, a wave wrecked the boat. So a uh, wave wrecked the boat, so the narrator was thrown into a sea, then again he was tossed back into the sea. Though he was badly injured, but he got saved. So realizing that the boat had taken in water in its, in its lower part, he instructed Mary to take the wheel and then went below deck. And Larry and Herb, they both pumped out the water which was accumulated in the boat. So they were helping a lot 
uh, to the family and narrator. So the narrator made some repairs and began waterproofing the gaping holes. Uh, later on, the uh, the family uh, managed somehow to survive 15 uh, 15 hours, but their relief was very short lived. And uh, the narrator knew that the way walker would not be able to hold it for so long. So the narrator made some calculation and found uh, two small islands. So the name of the island was El Island, which was in Amsterdam, French scientific base. So however, their relief was short-lived, the weather deteriorated and their situation again became hopeless. So their situation was again hopeless, but Jonathan with his a lot uh, of fearlessness filled the narrator with hope, uh, I mean optimism and with determination, courage to uh, fight the sea and the strong waves uh, disaster. So fortunately, they managed somehow to reach the, uh, to find the island in Amsterdam island. Uh, it felt like the most beautiful island that they had ever seen. So somehow they found that island and they, they felt that it is one of the most beautiful island they had ever seen. So the entire story is the rare, rare courage, talks about the rare courage, determination and perseverance. And the, uh, the children of the narrator also showed a lot of uh, hopefulness and fearlessness. Uh, they faced the disaster with a lot of courage and finally they made it together. So we should always be courageous and we should cross our difficult times with a lot of courage and determination always. And we should never be the victim of our circumstances. So here the story ends. Thank you.